let us discuss about the overview of the sales processes and SAP SD sales transactions. So the topics we're going to cover here they are sales order cycle, just an overview of the sales order cycle, pre-sales activities, sales order processing, procurement, shipping, and billing. So in this video, we'll just learn about the theoretical uh, transactions, to, uh, how we can create them or how we can process them. In the next video onwards, I'll show you the practicals of each transaction, how we create them and process them in SAP. So order to cash cycle. So basically what happens is uh, in the order to cash cycle, first of all, we have a, we receive the customer order. So the customer will provide us a, an order we we'll receive the order and we create the sales order in the SAP system. That's the first step. Second step will be picking. That means customer will pick up the goods or we can send them to the customer via truck or train or and courier, whatever service, or customer can manually pick up the goods. Third step is goods issue. That means we, uh, we issue the goods to the customer. That means the truck will leave the company or the courier van will leave the company. So basically in step number two, if I go back to step number two, in step number two is basically we making the stuff ready for the customer so that customer can pick up or we can send it to the customer by the truck. So next point is the point number three, which is goods issue, where will the goods will leave our company premises. And fourth step will be billing. So once we have sent the goods to the customer, then we'll send the customer a bill or, or an invoice and then our account receivable department will chase up with the customer and finally the customer will pay their dues or the payment and we receive the money in our company. So that's a typical sales order cycle. So I'm going to discuss a brief about these steps in this video and from the next video onwards I will talk about each and each step in detail with practicals. So first step is your pre-sales activity. So first of all, what happens is you have the pre-sales activities where what we do is we receive an inquiry from the customer or probably they ask us to provide a quotation. So this, these are called pre-sales activity where we're going to send them a quotation or a price. Uh, so the inquiry or the quotation can come from either say uh, cold calling customers or maybe just some by some uh, by some email campaign or some other uh, source of marketing. So at the end of the day, we'll receive some inquiries or, uh, from the customer and they ask us for the quotation. That's the first step. Second step is, so in this step, basically in first step, we, we will create quotation in the system or we can also create inquiry in the system. So then we start with the second step, with the sales order processing. So in first step, we send the quotation to the customer and our customer is happy and they want to place an order. So second step will processing the sales order. So customer will give us the uh, order and we'll, we'll create the order in a system. So the order will consist of all the information like what are the customer address, where we want to ship, ship the goods, or the shipping related information, pricing, and the material quantity and everything. So that's a sales order processing. So we create a sales order, then we do the procurement. So internally in our company, we need to procure the material. So either we, it, the material can be in-house manufacturing or we purchasing it from the third party vendor and we're trading it. So in either case, if we do not have the enough stock in the warehouse, so we either we need to purchase it, if it's a externally purchased or if we, we manufacturing in-house, then we need to manufacture in-house. Uh, and that's a procurement starts. Once the procurement will finish, the goods will be there and the, then we'll start the shipping process, which is also known as outbound delivery in SAP system. So in this, what we do is in this step, we'll create the delivery in SAP system that I'm going to show you in the next videos. We'll do the delivery in the system. We'll, we can do the picking and packing and finally we post the goods to the customer. That means the truck will leave our company premises. And finally, we have the billing. Billing in the billing, we'll, we'll send the invoice to the customer and customer will receive the invoice and they will finally pay our company the dues for the sales order. And all these activities, 
can be seen in one screen in SAP system. So this is known as document flow. I'll, I'll show the document flow practically when we start the next video and we'll I'll show you how to create the order and delivery and billing and everything. And I'll show the document flow. But what document flow is that for every transaction, for example, from the say you from the standard order or the sales order, we create a delivery. From the delivery, we create a billing. From the billing, we create a doc accounting document in the finance. So all these steps can be if you click a, a button called document flow in sales order it will show you that okay from first we created this uh, sales order from this order we created this delivery document number from this delivery document number we created the transfer order then we post the goods and finally we created the invoice and finally this accounting document was generated so everything you can see in one screen that i'm going to show you later on so this is known as document flow so that's all about the overview of the uh, sales processes. Now starting next video, we'll do the same thing with practical. So each video will talk about uh, one process. So one video for the quotation, one for the sales order processing, one for billing and all that. So thank you again. We'll catch up in the next video.